Hey everybody, what's going on? Brendan Miller here, back with another video. By far one of the most popular series on this channel is the Lure Challenge, where I go make really weird lures out of random things. Needless to say, a lot of those lures are pretty weird, and I don't really use them more than once for the video. Well, I thought I'd change that today. I have always been interested in making lures ever since I started fishing uh, from tying flies to pouring my own soft plastics. Uh, I've always loved making fishing lures, and today I thought, I want to make a fishing lure that actually works. Something that I'm actually going to keep in my tackle box and something that I'm actually going to catch fish with. I have an idea of what I want this lure to be. I've tried to build it once before, but I failed miserably, so I want to try again. I want to build some sort of a little jig that I can vertical jig, especially right now during the winter months. Vertical jigging is a very effective technique for catching finicky fish. So this lure will lend itself good to these current conditions. With that being said, let's head to Walmart and pick up a few things. All right, just getting ready to walk into Walmart right now. Gonna look for some inspiration for this lure and get the supplies that I need to build it. Let's see what happens. Gonna grab some hooks here. This is kind of an assorted pack of hooks. So it'll give me some options. What I love about doing challenges like this is that the store serves as my inspiration, so um, I just kind of walk around the store and get inspired kind of what to make. Obviously, I have a general idea of what I'm going to build going into this, but it's just nice to kind of look at stuff and be like, oh, that could be useful, that could be useful. It's really fun. So I'm doing some real masculine shopping right now, looking at all the stickers. <laughs> I'm looking for a particular sticker with a particular color. I think these will do just fine right here. They kind of have a little bit of a texture to them, kind of like scales, so that should work. Nerf guns. I'm getting distracted. All right, so I got most of my stuff for the lure. I'm just looking for one more thing. I'm over here in the lighting fixtures area. This is the final secret sauce that I'm gonna add to this bait. I'm in the paint section. I'm not in the lighting fixture section. I gotta go over here. And I found it right here. Beaded chain. This should work. All right. Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick break in this video and make an announcement. I recently released a short film titled Elision. Now this film has nothing to do with fishing. It is in a totally different genre than my fishing videos. As some of you know, uh, I am a fisherman and I love to film my fishing adventures, but I also am a filmmaker. I like to make films about other things uh, than fishing. So if you guys want to check out that video, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I have a second channel where I post my short films and that kind of stuff, and you can check that out in the link in the description. Thanks. Alrighty, I am back from Walmart and I got a number of things. The first thing I got is glue right here. This is super glue. This is by Gorilla. This is some good stuff. We'll use that to help build the lure. I also got some 1 8 ounce bullet sinkers right here. This is going to make up the main body of the bait. And I grabbed an assortment of hooks. I couldn't find the right size hook at Walmart, so I had to buy an assortment in order to get a hook small enough. These should work though. And last but not least, I bought some beaded chain. This stuff is usually used for lights to go uh, but today, we are going to make a lure out of them. Fun fact, I have thought about making a lure out of beaded chain for a number of years, and we're finally going to do it today. Gotta get the fish So these bullet weights right here are going to make up the majority of the bait. They're going to make up the actual body. The only problem is they're a little bit too thick. So I got some sandpaper right here. I'm just going to sand these down. They are made of lead, so they're going to sand really easy. So cue a sanding montage. All right, so I sanded down my weight, I made it flat on top, and then I came, kind of made the bottom sort of a triangle and smoothed that over. Now it is time to attach the bead chain right here. So basically what this bead chain is going to be is the tail of my bait. And the cool thing about this bead chain is you can actually just kind of snap it uh, where you want it. So I want about, oh, I don't know, that much I'd say, and then you just grab it you just bend it over. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue, dab it on the end of my bait like this, and try to glue this little piece of ball chain on there. All right, so I glued my little tail onto the end of this bait. The next step is going to attach the hook. Now, I originally bought this selection of hooks right here, but they turned out they weren't the right size. 
So I had to scrounge around and I finally found a hook that I think will work. My thought process is just to put the hook on top of the bait like so. Alright, so the basic build of the bait is finished. I have a little tail out the back. I have the main body made out of lead and then I attached the hook to the top with super glue. The next thing I'm going to do is give this a coat of just a flat white paint and then we're going to add some eyes and some other little features. Alright, so as you guys saw, I picked up some of these stickers right here and the reason why I picked them up is because they have kind of this scale texture to them. I got red because I thought it would be kind of a cool color to put on this jig and so what I'm going to do is just take uh, these stickers, apply a little bit of super glue and stick them on the sides to kind of give this bait a little bit more character. Alrighty guys, I finished the bait and as you can see it is a little jig type thingamabob. I made the main body out of lead, out of these bullet weights that I bought. Then I attached a bit of the ball chain to the back to kind of act as some sort of a tail. This stuff has a really good action. It flops around a lot and it's going to add some flash. Then I added a hook to the top of it uh, right here. Then I went ahead and painted it white, just kind of a matte white color. Then I added some little strips of sticker, uh, this kind of red uh, flashy scale pattern. And then I topped it off with two eyes. That is it. Now let's take this thing out in the water and see if we can't catch some fish. Alrighty guys, got my jig on. I'm out here at the lake. This side of the lake actually has a little bit of ice on it. Which should make it interesting indeed. Let's hope there's some fish eager to bite. I'm hoping we can catch a crappie or a perch or a uh, hybrid striped bass. <sighs> oh, dude, I got one. Goodness sakes, alive. I think I almost took the rod out of my hand. What is this thing? Is it a wiper? Or is it a catfish? That's a wiper, nice. Alright. Caught a wiper on the jig. That's awesome. Cold as all get out. Hold still, brother. Alrighty, guys. A nice winter hybrid striped bass. And look at that right there. Little jig pegged him right in the top of the mouth. That is awesome. He hit the bait on the fall and almost ripped the rod out of my hand. I was just letting the bait sit there. He just munched it. That is beautiful fish. Let's put him back, see if we can't get another one. See you, buddy. The thing about winter fishing is that it's always exciting when you catch a fish because generally it's more challenging to catch fish during the winter. The downside is your hands get wet and they start to freeze. There we go, fish. Oh, hey. It's a tiny crappie. All right, first cast. See you, buddy. There we go, fish. No, the croppy. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Right in the tip of the mouth. Not a big one. Little joker. There we go. Hey oh. Little jig pegged him right in the top of the mouth. Good deal. Another crappie, a little bigger than the last one. There you go, decent little crappie, sweet. Alrighty guys, I've used this lure for a little while now. I've caught some crappie with it and caught a decent little wiper with it. It obviously catches fish. And that begs the question, will I keep this bait in my tackle box? Is this a bait that I'm going to use on a regular basis? The goal of this video was to build a lure that I would use on a regular basis and the one that I would keep in my tackle box. And I gotta say, I think I will keep this lure in my tackle box, but I wanna change a couple of things. First of all, I wanna add one more bead to the bead chain on the tail here. That's just gonna give this bait a little bit more action in the water. Another thing I wanna do is rotate the eye of the hook straight up and down like an actual jig head. Uh, that way I'm gonna get a little better up and 
down action with this bait. Um, I also want to add a little more of this red kind of glitzy stuff to it. I think it'll give it a little bit more color in the water. I didn't quite glue the eye on the one side and it fell off. So I only have an eye on one side. So the eyes are going to need redone. And I think I would go ahead and spray paint the body silver instead of off-white. But with those tweaks, I could definitely see this bait uh, living in my tackle box. And I plan on making another version of this bait, a slightly updated version, and using it uh, on a regular basis. As you can see, this bait has a great action in the water. It catches fish. It's got a really nice petite action in the water. I like the action of the ball chain. It's got this really cool kind of wobble in the back. And it definitely looks like some sort of an injured minnow or something tasty. So guys, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that video. You guys may have noticed that I haven't been posting a whole lot recently, and that is due to the fact that I'm crazy busy with work, and uh, it's very cold outside, which kind of uh, puts a damper on the fishing, at least in Ohio. Nevertheless, I'm going to get out, I'm going to be fishing, and I'm still going to try and bring you guys videos, just not as frequently as in the summer and the spring. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to support the channel, check out the links in the description. There are some links to my signature series swim baits, as well as some affiliate links to the gear that I use on a regular basis. Thank you so much for watching this video, and as always, stay hooked. I'll see you later.